In this episode, I brush up on my worming skills and give you guys a little rundown on how I catch them. Seeing as the weather has been so windy lately, I thought this was the perfect opportunity to go out and catch some live bait. This is not only good practice for my next worming video, but it's great fun too. Oh, okay. So today I have a bag of smelly meat here. It's pretty gross because I've been using it for the last hour. But I put that in there, it's nice and smelly, you can mush it up and little bits are going to come out and flow down the water and the worms are going to be attracted. And also I'm using a little bit of pike here. So basically I put that in the water and a little worm's going to come up and he's going to start eating it. This is really hard to pick off. So he's going to grab onto that and then I can come in behind and try and pinch him with my fingers and he's not going to rip that off. Now when the water's rushing back out, this is the perfect time to swish my bag around with my bait in it. And basically when the water gets down that low, I'm looking for any little tiny bump sticking up and that's usually the worm's head scanning the water to see if there's any um, anything coming towards them to eat. their head that's where they're just gonna like rip down and like pull a piece of meat off so basically you've got to get them in that motion where they're kind of like that and you can get your fingers around the head and slowly grip onto it nice and tight and they don't really feel it just before they start ripping down there's a few different ways to grab the worm's head and I obviously don't have the grip strength in my fingers to grab him like this oh, I slipped through my fingers I find I can apply a lot more pressure when I press my thumb against the outside of my finger. This is a much better grip for me. So basically this is how I grab them around the head. So I can apply pressure just underneath the head there without snapping them. They're pretty strong. You have to have a good grip but not too much so that they're going to snap their heads. So. This is a pretty small guy, but he's perfect whiting bait. Let <laughs> me show you my big one. Still alive. This is the bigger one I caught earlier. The rest of him snapped in half. As you can see, they get quite big. So the tide's starting to come back in now. We were here at low tide, which was perfect because the worms seemed to be down further in the wash. As soon as the tide starts coming in, you've got a lot more water coming up and it's a lot harder to find the worms. And if you do find one, it's usually at that point where the waves are just gonna keep coming in and you'll just have you know, a foot, foot worth of water over the top of the worm and I find it really hard to catch them when there's water over the top. I like it much better when you've just got a little skim of water and you've got a, you can actually see the worm a lot better and have contact with him. So that's the end of this episode today on worming guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel, hit that little like button and also hit that bell notification so you know when I'm uploading a video next. Cheers guys, see you later.